Samsung Galaxy J3 2018. Underwhelming even for a budget phone. High-end phones may be Samsung's specialty, but when it comes to making great entry-level and mid-range devices, the company still has work to do. Case in point is the Galaxy J3. Also known in the US as the J3 Star, at US carrier T-Mobile, Express Prime 3, AT&T, Prepaid, J3 Achieve, Sprint, and Amp Prime 3, Cricket Wireless, and available for about $130 to $210 depending on the carrier, the Galaxy J3 doesn't add much from last year's predecessor. It's a wonder then, why you'd want to pay for such a phone when Motorola's Moto G6 Play is available for $199, £169 and $329 Australian dollars. The G6 Play gives you a faster experience overall, a superior camera and a longer lasting battery 15 hours and 16 minutes versus an average of 13 hours and 37 minutes on this year's Galaxy J3. And as a proverbial cherry on top, the G6 Play is also splash proof, so you don't have to fret if you get a few droplets of water on it. The J3 claims, however, no water resistance at all. Featuring a quad-core Samsung Exynos 7 processor, the J3 is also one of the slowest phones we tested in recent years. To be fair, we dinged the G6 Play for producing some low benchmark results too, but the Galaxy J3 had even lower scores. Beyond just lab numbers, the J3 took a beat longer to execute tasks like launch the camera, return to the home screen and populate web pages on Wi-Fi. As for the camera, the Galaxy J3's 8-megapixel shooter isn't terrible. Pictures taken in ample lighting, both indoor and outdoor, are clear enough to make out. But finer details are muddled and washed out. White light also looks blue and dimly lit objects are often blackened out and are hard to distinguish. Selfies were also decent, but some details were still hazy and blurred, 